Hi guys! I just got out of my follow-up with my TMJ doctor. He adjusted my splints a little bit. This one that I wear during the day, he made it a little bit thinner. So hopefully I will have an easier time talking and breathing with it. I was having a problem where sometimes when I was talking or laughing or something, there just wasn't enough room for my tongue and it would block the back of my throat and I'd start choking <laughs> and it wasn't cute. So he took care of that problem. I am actually really impressed with the progress I've made in these last three months. I feel like probably like 70% of the pain and popping that I was having in my jaw has gone away. I don't expect that I will ever be pain free or that I will ever have perfectly functioning joints but it is so much better than it was. I'm really hopeful for the future even if it doesn't get any better than this. If we could just keep it like this I would be happy. We also did some more laser treatments on that ligament that I'm having problems with. I have a lot of pain throughout here from the stent in my jugular so he is going to give me another topical lotion to try. He also told me about this really cool nasal spray, which I'm going to try out, and I will let you guys know how that goes. If you guys have really bad post-nasal drip, <laughs> like I do, I don't know if that's kind of TMI. I guess so. But, oh well. <laughs> he recommended a special nasal spray for that, so if that works, I will let you know. Because I know a lot of people struggle with that, and it's no fun. Anyway, we are still staying in Maryland, but my appointment was in Virginia, so we drove down this morning, and it is so nice out. It is like 65, there's like a little bit of a breeze, it's gorgeous, so I think that we're going to try to stick around a little bit before heading home. Home. Guys, it is so lovely outside here in Virginia. I never want to leave. I'm just sitting here in this little outdoor patio while my mom eats at this little Greek place and I am watching the fry life on my phone out here. Just enjoying my time in the nice weather. <sighs> Guys, today was quite a day. I just want to thank you all so much for all of the sweet thoughts and prayers that you sent to my friend. I mentioned in my last vlog that a friend of mine was having some pretty severe neurological complications and that I was in the hospital to visit her. Your prayers could not have come at a better time. I was getting tons of comments and messages saying that you were praying for her right as she was going into emergency surgery tonight. I think I got to the hospital around 1.30 or 2 and I basically stayed with her until they wheeled her down for surgery sometime around, I want to say between 4 and 5 o'clock. So it was definitely a really long day for her and her family. I'm so thankful that I was able to be there. It's kind of funny because we have the same neurosurgeon and we travel from out of state to see him. That's how we know each other and he did not know that I was in town because I was in town to see other doctors, not him this time. But I guess when he walked through the waiting room to go see my friend, he saw my mom sitting with her parents and just kind of panicked for a second. So she had to tell him that no, we were not here for him, I was doing okay, and that I was just there to support my friend. He was really great. He came in and he just gave me a huge hug and we all prayed together with my friend which I think made us all feel a little bit better. So now it's like 12.30 in the morning and I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to hear that she was out of surgery and I finally got the text. She is out of surgery, the surgery went well, she's in recovery and her parents are going to be able to see her soon. I feel really good about that. I was getting pretty worried about her earlier. I think that I've officially decided that I would rather be the one having surgery than being the one that has to wait around while someone they love is in surgery. Tomorrow morning, we are heading home. Woo! I am excited to be going home, but I am sad to be leaving the family that we have built down here. It's funny because when you're living with a chronic illness, the friends that you make who are going through similar struggles 
so quickly become your family. There's just this kind of immediate unspoken bond and you just feel like you would do anything for them because you know that they would do the same thing for you in that situation. So I guess that's one thing that I'm truly very thankful for. I feel like because of this, I've had the opportunity to form more meaningful and deeper friendships with some other really awesome people. Date on my friend, I just got a message from her and we have been talking. And so the good news is that she made it through surgery and that the surgery that they did was successful. The bad news is that she's still in pretty bad shape and she's having a lot more neurological problems and it's pretty serious. Hopefully pretty soon they will be able to transfer her to her other neurosurgeon to try to address some of the ongoing issues that she's having. She is in really good spirits and just so happy to have made it through the surgery. So I am just so proud of her right now. She has been through so much in these last few days. It's unbelievable. I'm sorry that I have like no voice right now. Uh, I was falling asleep when I got her message, so I guess this is what I sound like when I'm half asleep. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can still understand me. Anyway, this is not the news that I was hoping for from her, but it is one of the realities of our condition that there is a lot that can go wrong, and a lot of times it all goes wrong at once. Oftentimes fixing one thing is just not enough. Oh, I think I really need to try to get some rest and maybe I can visit her on the way out tomorrow morning. Okay, we are finally arriving home. It's around midnight now. Let's see who the dog loves more. Yeah. Oh, right to mom. <laughs> Hello. 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 Right to mom, doesn't even care about me. Come here, Sam! Oh. <laughs> oh. Sammy, come hey. here. <laughs> Sammy, come here. Oh, finally. Oh, okay. So, I just sat down to watch some TV and work on some jewelry and fully dislocated my kneecap. Luckily slash unluckily, I guess, it is the same knee that has been bothering me. Obviously, there's something wrong with it. Usually, I can get the kneecap back into place pretty easily, but this time it is pretty darn stuck. I got it like halfway back on I don't want to be too graphic sorry it's like halfway back on it hurts like crazy it's not in place I'm not quite sure what to do I can't really even unbend it right now and I definitely can't walk on it um I guess I should probably go to the ER but that is not an option because we are in a state of emergency there is a snowstorm going on so I guess I'm going to have to stick it out for the day until I can get to my PT appointment on Friday what I think is going on is that there is swelling going on underneath the kneecap so it can't go back into its little track <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do but for now Everyone is asleep, and I am stuck here until I can walk or hop. And my very sweet little, little dog here, you get away. <laughs> she came to comfort me, and then she just threw up. No! <laughs> Hi guys, so I had my physical therapy appointment today. Thank goodness. The physical therapist looked at my knee and she said that it was really messed up, <laughs> but she was able to get it back into a semi-normal position. I think because of the swelling, it just can't quite go 
back into place but it's a lot better than it was and she was able to get a lot of the swelling down which was awesome she thinks it was a dislocation that caused a sprain that caused you know some of the ligaments to tear because it is really bruised and gross looking but like i said she was able to get it into a bit of a semi-normal position and then she wrapped it up like that with the ace bandage for me and it was so nice it was the least amount of pain i've been in in some weeks with this i immediately came home and fell asleep finally i feel like a renewed person and i know that i have finally slept more than like an hour and a half at once we are still <laughs> desperately trying to avoid bracing it but i did book a tentative consult for Tuesday with the guy who makes my braces. Also seeing my physical therapist on the same day before that. That way we can make kind of a final game plan. But yeah, that is my update. I'm really hoping that it'll at least play nice for me for one day so that I can go out tomorrow. I have plans with my boyfriend. We are going to go see his sister in a play and I'm really excited for it. So oh, this need better cooperate because either way I am going. <laughs> Ooh, also. I got that nasal spray in the mail that I was talking about. Wow, look at how boring my life is. I'm like, oh guys, look, I'm excited about this nasal spray. But I ordered it on Amazon. This is the one that was recommended by my dentist for congestion and post-nasal drip relief. The thing I like about it is that it's very few ingredients. The thing that makes me wonder if it's going to do anything is that it is very few ingredients. Water, xylitol, saline, grapefruit seed extract. I did get it two days ago and I have been using it and I don't know if I noticed a difference. I like to think that I do. I like to think that it's helping. I'm actually not sure how fast it's supposed to work. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a momentary relief thing or if this is something that kind of has to build up in your system. The dentist was saying that the xylitol in it is a natural antibacterial so when you like spray it into your sinuses it kind of helps to keep the bacteria away so you don't get sinus infections and stuff like that. I did notice that after I use it I did have some pretty intense burning in my sinuses and in my throat. It did subside after a few minutes so that's a good sign. I guess I will keep you updated on that if anyone actually cares. It's called Exlear. It's like clear, but it is spelled with an X. Hi guys! I was able to get out tonight and go see a show. My boyfriend's little sister was in Annie and she did a fantastic job. She is so talented. She really has a gift for singing and acting. So Becca, if you're watching this, you did an amazing job. I had so much fun tonight. Thank you for inviting me. Tonight was just another one of those nights where it just sort of felt unreal that I was able to do as much as I did. It might sound kind of dumb to someone who isn't living with a chronic illness that just getting out and doing something as simple as seeing a show could be such a huge victory but to me it's a huge huge deal that i was able to go into public sit up for two hours walk around and socialize and then my boyfriend came over for a bit and we just watched some netflix and hung out a lot of you guys especially lately have been requesting that my boyfriend makes an appearance in one of my videos or vlogs. I just try to be really sensitive about putting people on camera who don't want to be on camera. We have in the past talked about doing a video together, possibly on what it's like dating with a chronic illness. I'm not sure if that's something you guys want to see, so let me know. Of course, it would just be our point of view and every single couple is so different, so I don't know how helpful the advice would be, but you know, you never know. <laughs> I am going to go ice my knee and then I'm going to go sleep. We are supposed to be getting a, another big snowstorm tomorrow and then I think on Monday as well. I heard we're supposed to get at least another foot of snow, so <laughs> that should be cool. 
I remember as a kid how special it was to wake up and to have snow on the ground and just how quickly we would be throwing on snow pants and jackets and gloves and hats to just like scurry out into the snow as quickly as we could and we would just stay out all day playing in the snow, building forts, pulling each other on the sleds, or having snowball fights. And then the last few years I just like haven't even gone out in the snow and I really miss that feeling. I think I'm gonna make it my goal to actually just get out into the snow. Maybe I'll make a snow angel if I'm feeling a little bit crazy. I just really miss that. I will talk to you guys tomorrow, hopefully from the snow. So this is happening. <laughs> I made it out in the snow. I'm gonna make a snow angel, but I have to be really careful with my knee. Oh, it's deeper than I thought it was. <laughs> what if I can't get out? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm going to get stuck here. <laughs> oh. ah. How am I supposed to get out now? <laughs> you can see my head. <laughs> I am a very happy camper right now. <laughs> My goodness, you guys, I can't believe that it has been another week and that I am closing out another weekly vlog. I'm just chilling out watching Netflix. I couldn't sleep last night. I guess just a mixture between pain and being worried about my friend and just generalized insomnia. I just didn't sleep last night, but I did get some editing done, which is good. Hopefully I will have this video edited and uploaded on time, but that might not happen. It'll probably go up on Tuesday as we are in the middle of a bit of a snowstorm right now. That seems to be really affecting our Wi-Fi for some reason. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming along on another week with me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I upload a video, you can hit the little bell icon next to my name. Oh, and also you guys said in my last video that you would be interested in a Q&A. So if you have questions for a Q&A, Please leave them in the comments below and maybe just give it a little disclaimer saying that it's for the Q&A so that I don't answer it in the comments instead of the video. You know what I mean. I will see you next week. Bye guys!